Hello and welcome to another, another Final Fantasy VII reaction video. Um, I've done a fair few on the channel now, so if you want to see any, click the I icon over here and you can uh, click, you can see some of the videos that I've done already if you're interested in some of the other reaction videos. This one is the uh, Game Awards 2019. That was only last month, I believe. Uh, yeah, it was the 13th of December. This is in January of 20, 2020, sorry. So um, it's a very quick one. It's only about two minutes long. So we'll get straight into it, shall we? Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. That's cool. I love the music. This is like Shinra Headquarters music. So? So keep uh. your distance. Oh. Cloud's a bad what boy. Was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in vain? I know you can. I love that. Cloud just shouting. Or sorry, Barry just shouting at Cloud. Five seconds. Oh. Cloud's such a sass man. <laughs> weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago, I made a promise, so... I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Uh, I can't believe this game's coming out. I honestly, honestly cannot believe this game's coming out. Like, it just looks so perfect. <sighs> okay, so let's go through some of the stuff then. Let's do it from the beginning. So here we can see some of the motor, motor bike sequences. Um, looks like usual more bikey stuff. Um, nobody really knows where these scenes take place. I'm guessing they probably take place um in between reactors or maybe as some sort of kind of quick travel there's been rumors about it maybe being um you know like it's how the fast travel works in the game you have to ride from section to section and maybe you get to upgrade your bike who knows um so this is really interesting this is cloud walking into a part of a shinra building or reactor or something and then he runs some soldiers and then he just kind of draws his sword on them um it looks so great. He's he looks a bit moody, but here's the thing: at the beginning of Midgar, at the game, basically he's quite a dick. Cloud is such a dick at the start of the game. He really is just out for himself. So um, it's really interesting to see how all this comes together. So here we see a really cool sequence. I don't really know where this specifically takes place, but it looks like that's the laser from the Gar Scorpion. So this must be escaping the first reactor. So this is a cool sequence as well. I, I feel like I say that every time. I honestly say that every time. This is a cool image because um, people were saying, do you still, if the game doesn't have choices or not, if it does have choices or not, do, do you still get to choose whether to take Aerith's flower or not? Wait, whether to purchase one of her flowers or not? Because she's selling flowers in the slums and in the original game you have the option to buy one and you also get the option to say whether you remembered her or not later on in the game. It would be really interesting if that's still in the game. I think it might be, um, but we'll have to wait and see. This is really cool, so it clearly shows you can you can have the flower if you choose it. This is such a goofy line as well. I don't know I don't know if it's just the delivery of it or if we're gonna have to wait and see, but he's like, I'm involved in dangerous things. I'm a dangerous person. So and keep your distance. Like it's a bit Batman, it's a bit brooding, but it could just be Cloud being Cloud. He's a bit of a he likes to kind of show off, he likes to be quite a big man, so it's gonna be quite interesting to see if this is if he's at, if he's being serious then I don't understand why this line is in the game, but if he's being kind of jokey and if he's, he's trying to be hard man and she's like, are you serious? Like, you're not even that hard, you know, that that would be quite funny if it's an interesting dynamic where Cloud's like, I'm a soldier and I'm hard. And then she's like, uh huh, sure. <laughs> I think that'd be a really cool dynamic. I love everything about the shot, the composition, the lighting. 
clothed looking like a tall badass and then just wedge just like he's such a lovable character and i wonder if uh i'm guessing there's going to be something similar and uh, cloud's so great in this scene as well he just kind of goes not interested <laughs> like i'm just here for the money once we're done with this i'm done i'll go my own way catch you later it's so great so i was saying before in the cyber connect react video that um there are aspects of the game in the new one that relates to how uh, the old one looked and this shot is taken almost exactly from the old cyber connect 2 version of the game because in originally in cyber connect he goes not interested and then you know uh, wedge just kind of goes away it looks like he's still got his gun he's still got the design and stuff so it's gonna be really interesting to see how how this all uh kind of works out i, I just want to see how much of cyber connect 2's work actually stayed in the game if square did start again from the very beginning that seems like so much work but i mean i'm not complaining <laughs> this game looks incredible so this scene is so great so i've seen um maximilian dude's reaction he actually got to see the full um demo which is insane um and hearing his story was incredible so you should absolutely absolutely watch that if you get the chance um but uh, this scene is so great because uh, according to him and some of the some of the people barrett is just on one like he is just ranting he's like the planet's dying i like the planet needs us uh the planet bleeds green and uh we should care about all of this it's so great and then cloud is just like is he is he serious and then jesse's like yeah you just listen to it for a while there is one thing that bothers me about the scene though and graphically it looks great but the pose that he's in just looks so awkward we'll need to wait and see how the full animation plays out but this just looks like a really unnatural pose for someone that big you know i feel like he would be standing up strong and even if he was to kind of get in your face he'd be like like kind of neck forward rather than like waist forward it just it just looks odd so this is great this is clearly during the the react the bomb's being set the reactor's gonna blow you need to escape because you need to escape in time. So you can see that Barrett's dealing with the, the gunner up at the top there, and Cloud's dealing with the shock trooper. Now this is really cool because this is the first time we've seen the shock, shock trooper, and I didn't think they were going to put them in the game because they look really goofy in the original, but they've actually made them work here, and it's really, really cool how they look. I think in this specific scene, he like uppercuts it into the air, and it just looks great. So here's something that we genuinely have not been able to see, in the whole in all the trailers and all the demos and stuff very little actual gameplay and very little actual exploration so here is just a very small section of it and it just looks amazing like everything's blowing up around them the the thing comes down and it looks like uh, a little bit foreshadowing cloud's gonna fall down but then he miraculously just makes it back up by jumping and he looks awesome doing it and then jesse gives him the thumbs up she's like good job that was awesome and then he gives like the cutest smirk of all time as if he's so proud of himself he's just he's such a boy i love it so we're coming up for the smirk there it is he's just uh. here we see more watchers of fate um it's really really cool that this is very close to the beginning of the game so they're clearly getting it in quick um so that they're establishing who they are very early on in the game and here we see a quick shot in the sewers um cloud and tifa back to back as they're protecting presumably Aerith from the kind of weird sahagin looking uh, creatures it's what's really cool as well a couple people picked up on this and i kind of noticed it as well the pose that tifa makes at the end of this trailer kind of looks like her celebration pose because she's got the arm stretched out she brings them up and it just it looks like her celebration from the that was the celebration pose that she had and it just looked great um so if that is a kind of reference to that, that's that's brilliant because obviously this game doesn't have those kind of reactions. Anyway, see Cloud, uh, people have noticed on, on Twitter, there's a couple of GIFs, you can find them. They compiled all the times we've seen uh, this shot in particular, and you can actually see a difference between CyberConnect, the E3 one, and this one. Um, just in the smoothness of animation, they've clearly gone up and touched it up and it looks it is looking really great now so not in terms of the model just the animation it just looks a lot smoother um so yeah i'm very very excited i think that's pretty much it for the trailer yeah they do the logo stuff and the date so that's it for trailers there's been no new trailers yet but i presume um sure, surely a launch trailer of some sort so 
here's hoping. So once again, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more reaction videos, click the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon so that you can get notified every single time I upload. If you're also interested, I do stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Gary Live every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday at 12pm GMT. And thank you very much for watching. So I hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye.